I made this page without writing a single line of CSS or JavaScript. Instead, I used this really cool CSS library called pico.css, which basically comes with a whole bunch of pre-made components for you to just use in your HTML. It's quite responsive. If I enable light mode here, it'll switch to light mode. Otherwise, it'll be in dark mode because my color scheme on the operating system is set to dark mode. As you can see, if I shrink the size, it's pretty responsive. And the whole thing is under 10 kilobytes. So I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use it just to like try it out. But I highly recommend that you read the documentation if you're actually going to implement this for a project. I think this is great for like a small little thing or a prototype where you don't really want to have to deal with writing CSS and making it look nice. So just, you can just use this and it'll just look nice, you know? So right here, I've got a fairly empty HTML file. The only thing that's really special about it is, hold on, why is this indented using spaces? Okay, ignore that, that never happened. Is that there's this link tab here, this link tag, which links to pico.min.css and I'm just using the CDN copy, but of course you can download it into your project if you want. And let's just try to make something. So to make a card, you use the article tag. By the way, Pico barely uses any CSS classes. For the most part, it just uses the HTML elements that you're using to figure out what you're trying to do, but there are certain things where you do use classes in order to specify stuff. And I can just put like an H1 for a title, title text. Let's open this up in the browser and see what happens. So you'll notice the card is taking up the entirety of the whole screen. And you might want this, but you probably don't want this. And to fix it, luckily, it's quite easy. You make a main tag and you give it the class container. And now we go back, ta da! It now has some nice margins all around it. And if you shrink the window, it adjusts its size accordingly, continuing to look nice the entire time. Now, how about that little drop down thing? I forgot what they call it. There's a specific name for it. Ah, yes, an accordion. Well, that accordion, let's make it. To do it, all you have to do is use the details tag, which already kind of does that by default in HTML. And then summary is the like title text, essentially. And then you put a P tag with the like full text. Now, this is some text. This is the paragraph. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. And additionally, if you give it the open attribute and reload, it starts off already open. Pretty cool. Next, grid layout comes with, with grid layout already done for you. I'm going to make another card. Article. And to do it, you make a div, give it the class grid, and we can put some buttons in it. And to do inline buttons, so in this case, we want the buttons to be side by side, so you have to use divs. Otherwise, you can use the button tag, and it'll just fill up the entire width. So div, and to make it a button, you give it the role equals button attribute. This is a button, and we can duplicate this div. This is another button. And let's change the color of this one. Class equals contrast. And that will make the background be white. Ta -da. This is a button. This is another button. And they're next to each other because this is grid layout. And look, there's a nice little, little announce of margin that I imagine shrinks when you're on mobile. Yes, it does. Isn't that nice? As I mentioned, automatically we'll switch between dark and light mode. So if I go here and I enable light mode, look how nice that looks. It just it just looks good, you know? And the text sizes are all preset, so this will look 
pretty much the same on every browser. And again, look how much HTML we wrote. Just a few lines. We wrote zero CSS. Look how easy that was. Anyway, if you want to actually use this, I'd recommend going and looking at the documentation. They've got a whole list with all the things it can do. There's a lot of things it can do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember that the Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race.